Now, later in the video, I'll be talking about the Bitcoin divergences that are forming on the four hour chart. We'll see if anything becomes of that. You know, as I'm making the video, Bitcoin has been dropping between four and five percent and it's going to fluctuate between it's been fluctuating between that area. But I want to continue to point out again, predicted the top top the day of the launch. I had the guts to tell you before it happened that we go to 48,000 to 50,000. Told you I thought we would peak that day if not the following day. Again, I could still be wrong if we try to go to a new high, but again, I have the guts to tell you what I think. Just like I called the Bitcoin top at 69,000, did it because I had the guts to tell you what I think. And I have the guts here. And so far, I've been correct, but those are telling me, hey, either Bitcoin's going sideways or it's going down. My signals uh, are reverting back to bearish after I called the top. And again, I told you the warning signs uh, have shown up here after we had our reversal, our follow through, and now we're getting our, our confirmation. Now we're getting the follow through uh, with today's bar. If we close below uh, the previous uh, uh, confirmation bar there, we will get it if we close below that uh, today. My signals are warning. Look, Bitcoin's either going sideways forming a topping process where we're now starting a larger downtrend one or the other. This is uh, Bitcoin's daily chart here. Bitcoin's trending candlesticks really showed a sideways move as we pushed up into that high and now we're back to bearish signals here. So again, if we turn back to bullish, then you get more sideways price action. Uh, if they remain bearish, you're going to get a bigger dump right here and now. And we'll be talking about the support levels that if we break those support levels, you'll get the bigger dump right here right now trending candlesticks here in the daily time frame. Again, Bitcoin got a bearish reversal of conditions. A lot of my signals flipped to bearish after we began the reversal and the confirmation and my signals showing me, hey, we're either going sideways or we're going down in a new downtrend. Currently, we have a confirmed reversal on our hands, so it tells us we're going sideways or we're going down right now, okay? So I'll be watching this area of support. Do we try to bounce in here or that trend line just a little bit lower? We broke above, which we're going to be talking about in this video at great length and detail. Now, critical mass, the critical mass cloud. If we break this level right here by the close, we're seeing red, and it'll tell us we're either forming a new downtrend or we're going sideways. So I'll be watching, and again, it remains blue. We don't close down here. We get a rebound before the session ends. So again, we've been hovering down about 4 or 5%. Again, you're going sideways. So even if it turns red, it could still mean we're going sideways or we're going down. If it just remains, critical mass remains blue and we don't close down below the cloud, then again, you're still going sideways. But we formed a divergence at the bottom. Our signals told us we were going to rally. Our signals have been bullish. Throughout the rally, we're bearish after we called the top in uh, July there. Uh, it got a confirmed reversal right there. Watching to see if we get another confirmed reversal or not. And again, if we do, it means we're going sideways or down. Coin continues to be below the momentum cloud and the momentum line in the weekly time frame. Again, you can see the sideways kind of range that we're in. But the cloud went back and forth from green to red. So did the momentum line back and forth green to red, really showing a sideways move here. Then we had this push higher. We got our topping tail, our reversal. And we'll see if we get the follow through. If we close below this level, that's a follow through and just keep going. Or do we try to bounce at this area right here, which we could. Uh, but uh, again, the power in the daily time frame went briefly bullish with this move higher, but then reverted right back to bearish with our reversal and confirmation bar. If we go sideways and bounce, then I would expect to get back above the cloud, back above the momentum line, have them turn back to green and just kind of go sideways uh, if, the, if we continue the sideways formation. But if we start a bigger trending move, then those levels will act as resistance and the balance of power will remain negative, uh, showing that the bears are in control. If we get a rebound, then it could go back to positive and really, again, just affirming a sideways move that your topping process with uh, going from bullish to bearish signals back and forth, really being potentially a head and shoulders topping pattern as we'll be talking about in this video. Please support the channel with the link directly below that allows us to be able to provide you this information. My indicators, do you like my charts? Let me know that by supporting the channel. I need your help in order to make it work. I don't have any sponsors. So if you like the information, please support the channel. Let me know you want this information and you want these videos. 
I do need your help. So if you could step up to the plate and help out, anything helps. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Make sure you watch this video all the way through. I'm going to be showing you some amazing Fibonacci, some amazing trend lines of support. We may try to bounce off support. We may break it. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. But the Bitcoin ETFs are sinking Bitcoin faster than the Titanic this time. Still risk of breaking the support levels. Now here on the Thursday session, Bitcoin is down 4.5% as I'm making the video. Again, we are looking to see where we're going to try to bounce off the 50 period or take it out and get a bigger drop before we get any kind of meaningful bounce. And so far, we're getting the drop below the 50 period, more liquidation. Everything we were told wasn't going to happen. Oh no, it was going to be at 69,000 and above on its way to 100,000 right now. Heard, told us you were a complete dope if you thought Bitcoin was going to sell off with the Bitcoin ETF, ETFs being launched. Exactly what we predicted has happened. I told you we'd rise up to 48 to 50,000. We hit 49,000. I told you we'd rise up into this upper boundary trend line right here and we'd hit that level and sellers would be lurking there what happened and we would get a sell-off and bitcoin would begin to crash oh what happened we rallied up to 48 to 50,000, hit 49,000, hit the upper trend line i told you these lows are pointing to the next high boom slammed up into that area and we reversed began to crash we crashed by 15 15.39 percent told you again you got horizontal support. You got the 50 period. We still may try to bounce. We're going down further, testing support. And I told you to watch the trend line that we broke above. Remember this trend line at 38,000 and the 39,000 Fibonacci that was just above it? We talked about that resistance level being a rising wedge. And if we, if we turned off of it, we would have had a rising wedge, but we broke through it. We talked about that at great length of detail. I told you if we cleared the 78 of the 61 point Fibonacci, then you can go into the golden pocket and you, your uh, 78.6 Fibonacci comes into play. And then this trend line over here comes into play. And the parallel boundary from our lower boundary here comes into play, which we've now reached. We're coming back to this trend line right here of support. And you've got some horizontal support in here as well. Again, if we can get a rebound, you can further consolidate and form a head and shoulders topping pattern. So as what I'll be watching is to see if we try to bounce off of this broken trend line right here. We broke up through it. Is that now support? We have to get a bigger drop before we get any kind of meaningful bounce. As I've told you before the rally happened, we'd rally up to 48,000 to 50,000 and Bitcoin would peak. I still think the top is in on Bitcoin. If we get any rally back up, I think you'll likely set up a lower high. I could be wrong. And if I am, we go back up and we hit this level once again, and you go uh, right into this trend line and maybe uh, overthrow it or maybe uh, tag it again, hit the upper boundary. But those two trend lines are resistance. My guess is the peak is in with Bitcoin. And if we get the bigger drop, as I've said, you can get that uh, confirmation bar in the weekly time frame. That's what we talked about at great length and detail. When we got our topping tail on Bitcoin last week, do we now get the confirmation, get a big sell off this week, or do we buy a little bit more time before that happens? But again, you got the topping tail in the daily, the topping tail in the weekly. We're trying to get in the daily, I'll show you up close, the confirmation, the, uh, the uh, reversal bar, the confirmation, and now the follow through. So we'll be watching this trend line right here with great interest uh, with Bitcoin to see if we break it or do we bounce off of it. Right now, Bitcoin is, again, down nearly 5% for, as I'm making the video, 4.82%. Bitcoin is sinking faster than the Titanic. The Bitcoin ETFs are sinking Bitcoin faster than the Titanic. We were told the complete opposite was going to happen. Where are all those people right now? Where are all these people? They told us that, you know, better watch out. You're going to regret this. Told us how stupid it sounded that Bitcoin would sell off with all this money flowing into the Bitcoin ETFs. I told you again, buy the rumor, sell the news. And again, I've been attacked. I was 
attack when I said these lows are pointing to this high over here and I called this as a top the day of the top and I predicted the crash being attacked just like I was being told sorry about that I had to take a call but look you were a Neanderthal if you thought that Bitcoin was going to drop and again if you didn't believe that was a breakout when I told you it was a fake out and then right here, the same thing. Oh, it's over. The people, are, oh, the, this wasn't going to happen. We're never going below 60,000. We went down to 30,000. But then we rallied back up. And oh, it's over. The people that never saw this coming told us it was over. And then we saw this. And then they told us it was over. And then we got another drop. And it's forming another major top, just like we called back over here. Uh, I think you'll end up getting a sell off that probably looks something like this. Again, the topping process could, as I've talked about, could uh, go sideways for a little while, like over here, like over here. And again, it could be end up getting a bigger, lower high, or maybe I'm wrong about the peak and we go slightly higher. My guess is that Bitcoin is topped. When the topping process has come to a conclusion, and it, again, it may be still under construction if we bounce off of this trend line right here, uh, then we'll be looking uh, for a bigger drop to Bitcoin down to this trend line and eventually to break it. Uh, you'll probably move down to this trend line, bounce off of it. And, you know, if we if we do get a rebound, if we do get a rebound, uh, we could see something, you know, like this, you know, where we get a rebound and then we come down here and then we bounce and then we break or break and then bounce, whichever way it plays out. But eventually we're headed back down uh, to this area, to this uh, uh, 31, 32,000 area. And if we break 38,000, um, right now we're testing the 40,000 area and currently, again, down 4.37%. If we break the 38,000 area, you're going to see a lot of the signals turn bearish in the weekly time frame. Again, Bitcoin right now down four and a quarter percent. It's uh, again, dropped as down close to 5%, but you've got this possible, again, here's our 50 period, the green line right here. Okay. You've got this possible head and shoulders if we can bounce off that trend line I showed you. If Bitcoin can find support in this area, then again, maybe you have this head and shoulders formation where again, you come back up towards this area right here, right around, you know, the 44 to 46,000 area, right in here, right around 45,000 or so is this peak over here, 44,000 uh, or just under, uh, I believe it was uh, just under 45,000, right in the 44,000 range. Maybe you go to 44, 45, 46,000, and you can get a right shoulder. No guarantee. Listen to me. There's no guarantee that happens, but I'm telling you, it's all about support and resistance. If, if, if we bounce off horizontal support and the trend line that we broke up through over here, then you've got a shot at it at a rebound off of those levels for a lower high. And if you do, then you've got a shot at a possible head and shoulders pattern for Bitcoin. No guarantee. Again, we could just move into free fall. As I've said, we break these levels of support. So keep that in mind. Again, we predicted the opposite of what everybody was saying. I told you that Bitcoin would rise up again, surrounding the Bitcoin, the launch of the Bitcoin ETF and the approval. And again, it did. To 48 to 50,000, we hit 49,000 just through above that level. We got this topping tail. You had sellers like me lurking up there, pouncing on this thing. And then we dropped. We, we had rallied up 5%. We gave it all back. We dropped 1%. We lost 6%. Okay. Then we dropped 10% the next day. Boom, down 10%. Another 50 period moving average. Try, try it. Tested those lows. Tried to rebound. Now we're moving beyond that. So you have. You have a reversal, a confirmation bar, and a follow through. If we close below this level, you have a follow through move right here. But even if you get the follow through, you still may rebound back up and still may attempt to get your right shoulder in your head and shoulders topping pattern. Keep that in mind. Some things to be watching. It's really all about support and resistance. And again, we're hitting support. Do we break it and keep going? Okay, do we break the trend line? Do we break horizontal support? Do we just start collapsing? Or do we get a rebound and consolidate further in a stage three top and suck more people in? It's over, it's over. You know, and all the people that told us, where are these people? 
Where are these people that told us that Bitcoin was going to be surging up to 69,000, move above it, and we'd be at 100,000 by now? Where are all these people? I know a lot of them are out there saying, buy the dip, buy the, well, you, buy the dip, what? You told us, you told us we were going to have a surge. Look, my signals, oh, I'm calling for Bitcoin to have a counter trend rally. At least I acknowledge, hey, my signals are bullish. My signals have been bullish. I just happen to believe it's a counter trend rally for a bear market rally. The signals are bearish. I told you they're, I told you they're going to come out and say, well, sell your Bitcoin to the whales. Just doing this. They're just doing this. They want your Bitcoin and all the same nonsense that these people always say every time they're duped by the big money. I told you the big money was going to pull the rug out from underneath them. What happened? The big money pulled the rug out from underneath these people once again. They're easily deceived, easily fooled by the professional traders, the whales, the institutions. You get the moon boys all juiced up and then they go get all they, they go get all the herd all riled up and oh here we go and boom then you get your rug pull so you have to understand what's going on here and again at some point the big money is going to push it back up whether we get a bigger dump and they do it and and you know you get a, a bigger um, a more meaningful rebound after a bigger dump or whether they do it right here now off of the support levels i'm talking about i don't know it's all about support and resistance okay but I do know is that again they're going to do another rug pull on the next rally that they attempt whether we go down and they do it or whether they try it right here at this support level and then they do it again to to pause the the herd to believe oh oh now here here's the real rally told me the real rally was over here that we we're going to have this move you know my favorite one of my favorite moon boys said we're going to have this rally this one big massive bar up to 69,000 in one day we're going to go on our way to 100,000 in the following days. We should have already been at 100,000 now, according to these these people. Where are these people? Where are they? Let me just say this. Again, one reason why I told you that Bitcoin was going to top was because the dollar was bottoming. A breakout of the dollar. Again, if the dollar pulls back, that would help Bitcoin for the short term. The stock market is up today. Again, well, the stock market and Bitcoin have a positive correlation. The stock market's up. Bitcoin is sharply down. If we see a rebound, as support, we can see the dollar pull back. It's up here above the 200. The 50s cross below the 200. It might get a back test of the breakout. Bitcoin has a negative correlation with the dollar. Okay. Bitcoin bottomed out. We predicted a rally. The dollar had topped, but the dollar kept dropping. So Bitcoin kept going up. They have a negative correlation, but the dollar bottomed over here and again often the dollar will bottom before bitcoin tops which is what we had happen now again we're going sideways here we're at this level you're at gap support maybe we fill the gap here on bitcoin uh right here but if the dollar pulls back at a chance of further consolidation here and possibly a right shoulder developing no guarantee but it is a possibility Maybe this is a left shoulder and all this is the head formation, or maybe you have uh, possibly two left shoulders in a complex pattern. No guarantee the pattern forms, but it's something that could form if we bounce, if we bounce, if we bounce. No guarantee we bounce, but if we bounce off a of horizontal support and the trend line broke above to come up here was the upper boundary rising resistance of that. Uh, rising wedge pattern we looked at earlier. At a level of support here, just at a little bit lower levels, will we attempt to a bounce? If the dollar pulls back at back test, then you may see a uh, an attempted rebound on uh, the dollar. The S&P is likely going to make a new all-time high. Bitcoin can make a lower high if that is the case. But again, no guarantee that you rebound. If you break support, you're going lower before you get any kind of meaningful bounce. So do keep that in mind. It's all about support and resistance. And that's why we had this peak, because we couldn't clear the 48 to 50,000 level of resistance that I've talked about. Now, Bitcoin, again, is a positive correlation with the S&P 500. Bitcoin has already hit the upper channel line. I believe that the S&P is going to do it. Uh, here and if we do see that then Bitcoin's got a shot at a lower high setting up So if we go up and hit this upper channel line back over here I called the bottom for the S&P 500 the day of the bottom predicted the bottom 
was in, the crash was over, and that we were going to rally back up and eventually make new all-time highs in late 2023 or early 2024. We haven't made new all-time highs, NASDAQ has, but if the, if the S&P can rally, which I think it will, and I think it's doing it right now, right now it's up 41 points as I'm making the video, almost 42, uh, as we've been predicting this rally would continue, uh, I think it comes up in here. I think Bitcoin has a shot, no guarantee, but it has a shot of making a lower high, even a higher high. I could be wrong about the higher high and form a divergence if the bigs decide to run it up higher. They have the money to do it, okay? If they want to run it back up to resistance, they can. They've got the money to do it. And again, all these retail investors, and compare this to Bitcoin, which has already hit the upper channel, which again, take a look. Look at where we're at. I told you, again, this upper channel was going to be hit by Bitcoin and sellers were going to be lurking there, parallel boundary to this lower boundary. S&P hasn't hit that upper boundary yet. If it does, Bitcoin might try to bounce. We're hitting the cloud. Again, look at the dotted red line. This is the trend line that was rising resistance previously. Okay, then you have horizontal support right in here as well. So again, if you can get traction right in this area right here, or a little bit lower, then maybe you can bounce and get a right shoulder before breaking down further, if that's possible. Or maybe I'm wrong and we bounce off this area and you go up and you get a, uh, a test of the trend line again and form another reference point of a diversion. So that's certainly possible. Don't want to rule that out. But like I said, I believe the Bitcoin top is in. I predicted that it would peak on Thursday. Uh, got it right so far, just as I have the guts to tell you what I think. When we predicted the top, Back in 2021, against, went against the herd there too. Now, again, my signals have been bullish. Again, over here, we told you there's a divergence. We predicted a, a, to rally up and either find a lower high here at resistance or move above it and move to this trend line right here. Well, we cleared that trend line. We've come to the next level of resistance, parallel upper boundary, Fibonacci re, re, uh, re, uh, resistance, all about support and resistance. My signals have remained consistently bullish. We're not going to get a bigger drop until we drop back below that 100 period, the pink line right there. But again, we formed these divergences. Uh, again, before we were forming these divergences ahead of the launch of the Bitcoin ETFs, ahead of the approval. And, the, you know, the herd does what they know. Oh, oh, that's just a bunch of FUD, you know. And I mean, it's the same hype and hopium the same emotions that you see every single time that's why i'm saying the big money uh pulls the rug out from underneath the herd over and over again because they they fall for it every single time and the herd they're they're reliable they're re a reliable tool for the big money now i told you to watch this trend line right here and we're slightly breaching that trend line right now to hit this trend line but these were the trend lines i told you to watch so again we'll be looking to see do we try to get a bounce right here and if we do uh, the herd is going to wake up. Oh, here we go. Get all hyped up and they'll run it up and then they'll pull the carpet out from underneath them again. Uh, again, uh, we have this rising wedge and I told you this trend line, excluding the trend line, or it might include the trend line if we didn't break this area. Well, we're breaking this area. So again, that rising wedge, uh, the trend line, the real trend line was excluding the shadow. Uh, the rising wedge give us a reversal rising wedge going into this uh, trend line as we've talked about. So again, if we get a bigger drop right here, we're going to break the trend line and we're going to come down and we're going to test the 100 period moving average. And then again, it might be that you try to bounce around in the 100 if you break this area, but if you can hold above it, you got a shot at a bounce right here, right now. As traders and investors, we don't know if support or resistance will hold. Right now, we don't know if the support's going to hold. Right here, we didn't know if this resistance was going to hold or we are going to break through it. Or this resistance right here, we or we ended up breaking through these resistance levels. Do we break through this support level? Okay, we broke through this support level, this trend line. Do we break through this support level as we're trying to break the blue trend line right now and keep going down to the 100 or the 200 period moving average, heading back down, you know, to 38,000 here at our 100 period moving average, or, or going to seeing something bigger, or do we try to bounce here first? And that's what we need to be watching. It's all about support and resistance. I can't stress that enough, but our signals are turning bearish. And if they remain bearish, it means we're either going down or sideways. Watching these support levels I'm talking about, especially the trend line, does the MACD try to firm up or does it just go into negative territory and we get a bigger drop right here, right now? These are the things that we're watching for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's got a 
a possible chance of a rebound right now if we don't break these levels of support, if we try to bounce off the cloud and the trend line right here, and if red trend line, if we can see the S&P rally to new all-time highs, which I believe it's going to, but then I think it's going to top and do exactly, it's about two or three weeks behind Bitcoin. It's just breaking out of its consolidation and getting this move higher, whereas Bitcoin already got the move higher and pushed down, got the crash. If Bitcoin can rally or if it keeps going down before it rallies, uh, again, I expect S&P is going to catch up. Now, here's Bitcoin up close on the daily chart. I'm going to show you the four hour chart as well. But look at this again. We'll be watching this trend line. We're breaking it right now. Do we close below it or, uh, you know, go down towards the 100 period moving average? And you have, again, just underneath here, that other longer term trend line that we just looked at. We broke up through. So you've got the trend line here from these lows that we're breaking. And again, maybe we uh, hit this horizontal support level here and we try to to, to bounce, you, maybe you get a breach of it or a bottoming tail and you push back above this area. Uh, so we'll be watching to see what happens. And if you do, then again, you've got the shot at the lower high. No guarantee told, oh, all this money's gonna come into Bitcoin and it's just gonna go through the roof, but yet we get distribution volume. There are more sellers than there are buyers. And that's what you have to understand. Bitcoin's going down because they're more sellers there's liquidation going on and we talked about bitcoin getting liquidation liquidation move couple hundred million liquidation move liquidation move and now another liquidation move I Heard you that the volume over here was much lower than the volume at lower levels we were advancing on declining volume but again people only want to hear what they want to hear they don't want to hear the truth Here's that MACD going in negative territory. If it can firm up back up, if you buy more time, maybe you get a right shoulder. If we stay in negative territory, you start breaking these support levels I've been talking about. You break, you're breaking this one right now. If you stay below it, you take out your 100 period moving average, then you get your bigger drop. And down over here, we have support way down here at the 200 at 32, 31,000, that area. This 100 period is the support area in the weekly time frame. And if you break that 100 period here, which again, I'm a big believer in the 100 period. When you're above it, good things are happening. When you fall below it, bad things are happening. And again, this is one of the reasons why we predicted that we would get a rally back over here, but we believe the rally is going to fail. You're watching these support levels, but you're seeing distribution. Let's go back to the other chart. As we're breaking that blue trend line, you're coming down to this trend line right here. You're not quite at it yet. You still may go lower. But Bitcoin's down about 4.5%. It's been down closer to 5%. We'll see if we bounce here or break these levels of support. And you're trying to form a bullish divergence in the four hour time frame. Again, you're at this horizontal level of support. You, you're breaking that blue trend line. Do we try to bounce here? And again, possible left shoulder here. Maybe the head formation very long here. Or you have, again, the two left shoulders. That's also a possibility, but we'll see. Do we get a rebound and go continue to go sideways? And if you do, a shot at this pattern developing. No guarantee that it sets up, but if the S&P can go make a new all-time high, as I believe that it will, and then it top out, it's about two or three weeks behind Bitcoin. It's, it's just done this right here. The sideways move, got this move higher, the break to do high, and then the pullback. And it's doing this right now. We're in this phase right now for the S&P. Bitcoin has already dropped, and if it bounces, then again, shot up the head and shoulders. S&P is following the Bitcoin blueprint for the topping process. It followed Bitcoin higher, and then it went sideways after Bitcoin went sideways, and now it's starting to try to go higher as Bitcoin went up to the upper channel line as we're talking about in this video. Uh, Bitcoin already did it. We'll see if these divergences form on the MACD here and on the RSI. And again, they may not be done yet, but we'll see if we try to get some traction at the horizontal support level here. We're a little bit lower at the uh, trend line of support. And again, I want to continue to point out that we predicted the rally with the four hour chart. We had the bullish divergence here with the print parameter. Okay. And we got above the 200, the black line, and then the 50, the green line, the, these arrows right here, the 50 got above the 200. Okay, in a bullish golden cross. Pring parameter validated it going into positive territory. We pull back to the 200 just underneath it, firmed up at the center line. Got a rally, pull back again, tested it, 
broke out of the trend line with the rally and back tested it and we firmed up again at the center line we've been consistently positive in positive territory and then recently just before the surge to new highs we tested this level again now we're breaking it here print parameters going into negative territory but we were consistently positive through the entire advance can you see this okay consistently positive and i told you that i was looking for lower high or the higher high if we got the higher high i was looking for a five leg push higher one two three four and now five so i think the bitcoin is topped completing my wave c i think you have an abc move structure for an abc move for our elliott wave count and we're about to get a, a really big push down but what we've done now is we've broken down from the rising wedge and we've taken out the 200 and now we're about to get the 50 crossing below it and print parameters going negative so you're at risk of getting a bigger drop just like we had a bigger push higher with the golden cross and print parameter validating it what could happen is we could go sideways if we get that bearish cross or we can start getting a bigger drop one or the other so if we if we if we find support here at horizontal support and our, our 400 period that's that red line right there and that trend line i showed you then again you got a shot at going sideways shot at a counter trend support levels i'm showing you in this video if they break forget it all bets are off you're going lower if you remain below the 200 remain below the 50 and the 50 remains below the 200 you take out support and print parameter remains negative then you're going to go a whole lot lower you know and again it could be that we start you know getting a dramatic drop on bitcoin if support levels break and that's why i'm taking the time to show you these support levels but if we bounce off of them bitcoin well you buy time with bitcoin it's all about support and resistance and we don't know if support is going to hold or if we're going to bounce you know if, if it's going to hold and we're going to bounce or if it's going to break we don't know the trend on the way up with the resistance levels that i talked about all the way up we don't know okay are we going to bust through the trend line and go higher the things that we've been talking about talked about if we did go higher we talked about the fibonacci retracement levels before we had the rally up towards forty-eight thousand to fifty thousand. there again i talked about this fib channel we talked about coming up and hitting this upper boundary and we came up right up to it slammed the brakes on and reversed i told you sellers were going to be lurking there the upper channel the s p is going to hit so again maybe we try to bounce right here off of this area we'll see and if we do uh again we get a lower high or a higher high and if we get a higher high you go up and hit that level again my guess is you're not going to do it i think that we have peaked i think that we have a five leg push higher uh with bitcoin here and i think the five leg push is done for a large a b c okay top is likely in i could be wrong on that but i believe it's in and if we bounce here you got a shot at a lower high you break this level then look out below a shot at trying to find a bottom here at support so we'll be watching to see if that happens but we talked about the fibonacci retracements that i talked about here with the log scaling the golden pocket here if we cleared the trend line right here we talked about coming up here and, and you can see right here how we're bouncing off of this level right here coming up here into the golden pocket uh if we cleared that level right above that trend line was our 61.8 fibonacci at 39,000. we went up to this next level of resistance so again we'll see what happens right here see uh uh we were just under the 78.6 fibonacci of this entire decline right here now on the linear scaling and I use both. Some people only use linear scaling. Some people use log scaling. More people with Bitcoin use linear scaling more often than not. Hit the 61.8 Fibonacci of this decline. So with the linear scaling, we hit the 61.8 Fib. With the log scaling, we went up to just under the 78.6 Fibonacci. So you had Fibonacci resistance levels coming into play there. So just want to continue to point that out. And this is why we were predicting that we were going to peak with the launch of the Bitcoin futures ETFs and begin to crash get a reversal and begin to crash which has now happened we were told there was no possible way it could happen bitcoin etfs are sinking bitcoin faster than the titanic it's only going to get worse you may get a counter trend rally you may get a, a another reference point of a diversions but it's going to fail bitcoin's going to end up going a whole lot lower 
pricing in a recession, pricing in a Fed pivot. Where is going to eventually surge higher? That's putting pressure on Bitcoin right now, which again, people ignore. But it's absolutely amazing. We were told this wasn't going to happen, and yet herd fell for it again.